My name is Julian Little. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Tick and Pay. Tick and Pay is about B2B payments and synchronising B2B payments. We're business on the go. We are a mobile app and a wallet system. We allow owners and managers to enable staff to make COD payments. Now, payments where you're not on terms, where you don't have an account, with simplicity, speed and confidence. Why does this happen in the day of the cashless world? Well, every time you talk to a small business person, be they owning a restaurant, cafe, car workshop, installation business, yes, they do most of their business where they have an account to buy from for supplies. But you'll always find there's cash payments for some companies where they want to buy from a supplier where they don't have an account. They want a better price, better quality, different parts, the right fresh seafood on a day. How do they do that? How do they pay? How do you send a staff member to go and buy something for your business? When you talk to small business people, often the word cash gets mentioned. You can't give them your credit card with a pin, you can't give them a debit card. Happens here, happens right around the world. It's often business owners and managers use cash, especially in SMEs, especially in operational businesses. So we really are focused on SMEs, but we're focused on business in general, making SMEs' lives better. We can also, we've found, when you start a product, you find that you actually have a very good product fit in unexpected verticals. And outside of SMEs, we've found an extraordinary fit in international tramp shipping, because tramp shipping still has large amounts of cash. On average, 20,000 US dollars minimum is on a LNG gas carrier, coal carrier, tram shipping. So what is Tick and Pay? Our strategy is white label. We are not here to find end user customers. We are creating a white label platform, which is a wallet, workflow, app, and payment system. Real-time requests and approvals prior to spend through the system. We can have business rules, later on AI to automatically approve, but otherwise people want to see how much money is it, I want to approve it, and everything has, happens instantly. The fulfilment is the app and a Visa card, but it doesn't have to be a Visa or MasterCard card. It could be wallets, WeChat Pay. We've got a project in Sub-Saharan Africa, which are in the early stages of qualifying, where it's MNO money, mobile money, for FMCG payments from stores. Our customers create, using our product, fintech services for their customers. That's our strategy. What's the solution? So first of all, there's a funding of the wallet by the company. The employee uses the request form. The manager sees it instantly. All the details, get rid of that paper form. Trans the approval transfers to the employee's Visa card or WeChat wallet. They use the card for the business purchase or at ATM. And in shipping, we've got a sub-level in the waterfall to payroll cards. We're right at the heart of very powerful Gen X trends. Not being a Gen X, I feel when I look at my kids, my kids are never gonna use paper forms in business. They'll look at that as something like we look at a coal-fired train. Mobility, instant messaging, workflows, real-time, anywhere, anytime control. That's what business people want today. They don't want to give an employee $100 in cash or 100 dirhams to go and buy a toner cartridge. Now, we're white labeling the product. We have a partner in shipping, but our broader focus is to license banks and for banks who have, or any company that has large SME customer bases. You can actually embed lending within the product because the customer wallet can actually be a loan. And this is a very key trend now, embedded financial services of the future. The business has a product, they find the product useful, but within that product are financial services. We like to think of ourselves as actually not a corporate card, but a corporate wallet. The team, well, a couple of us have grey hair. We've been in the game 25 years each, very focused on payments, operational businesses, transaction businesses. I was fortunate enough to work for Majid Alpha Team here for four years. I took uh, business from zero to 1.2 million cards uh, and 
the number one guy who made a lot of that happen uh, is working for us now as well. So we have a team. My brother is a co-founder which has truly understands the mechanics of scaling and growing this type of business with a lot of experience in corporate sales. Thank you, Julian. Questions? Oh, it's a quick five minutes, isn't it? Okay. There you go. <laughs> so we're raising money at the moment. We've got uh, questions, please. Out of interest, why are you in Malta? Uh, because the European project with shipping required us to get a sponsor bank. So we're actually supplying the visa card there. So we needed a company in Europe to contract with a bank. When we license a bank, they'll supply the visa card. But in Europe, our licensee wasn't financially uh, an issuer, the shipping uh, services supplier. So we set up an operation, uh, really a uh, company in Malta, and then we're setting up the holding company in Malta. And we've got a company in the UAE, and we're going to set up our back office here as a branch. We've been living here for nine years. Are you already operating? What has been your margins though on the payments that you make? Yeah, where we supply the card, our margin is about 1 to 1 1.5% because corporate interchange is very strong uh, and you get FX in the shipping. So we've made about 2,500 uh, ships through our partner or owners that own that. So we have a very strong runway to, to scale. We are launching, the reason we're raising the money is to get the final working capital to can't pay the issuing sponsor bank and the processor and have some working capital to get live. So we haven't actually got live on the, on the cards yet. Does that make sense? Could, could you make profit though, uh, ever since you have been... Yeah, we've, we, yes, we've, we've actually, we licensed our technology to Divos, the shipping company, uh, and we've received about 300,000 US in system enhancements and license fees. And now we're just finishing the raising to get live. How far have you gotten with the UAE-based banks? Uh, we've met one of the biggest, which uh, was a very interesting meeting, and they said, but we already have some of this. We already have a workflow management approval system within our corporate banking. I said, yes, but when a maker makes a re the request and a checker checks it, the payment goes to a third-party bank account. We're different. The maker and the checker is to transfer to an employee who's going out to buy $200 worth of fresh vegetables. It's a totally different system. Early stage, it's going to be quite, uh, six months. We've talked to one of the ENBD FinTech lab. That's very interesting. So one more question, it's a more technical question. So you make a, a cash transfer into an employee's uh, personal card account? No, or? the system, if we were to license a bank, yeah. the, 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 what the fulfillment is, the business gets the app and essentially a prepaid card linked to the wallets. Oh, okay, thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. Thank you, Julian. Thank you very much. Take and pay. Thank you. Okay.